Let's consider one of the most confusing topics among all that is loop control statements break and continue. Let's get started. Break. What does this break means? Break is used to terminate from the loop. In order to understand what does it really mean, let's consider one example. Suppose we need to write a program which allows user to enter integers until he or she enters a negative number or a zero. Let's open up the code blocks in order to understand how to be able to write a program for this. Here is the program which allows user to enter integers until he or she enters a negative number or zero. Here I have declared a variable n and I ask a user to enter a number. Then after that user enters a number. Then I check a condition whether the number entered is equals to 0 or not. If it is equals to 0, we come out of this loop. And if it is not equals to 0, then we stay in this loop and continue to execute the rest of the statements. After checking this condition, we come inside this loop if n is not equals to 0. We check this condition that if n is less than 0, then we simply break. Otherwise, we continue to execute these two statements. Now, what does it really mean? Break simply means we come out of this loop. If we encounter break, we simply come out of this loop. No matter what, what is written after that. The rest of the statements which are written after that will not get evaluated. If you encounter break, the rest of the statements will not get evaluated. Please note down this point. Here suppose if n is less than 0, then break will be encountered and we simply come outside of this loop. Now let's execute this code. It asks us to enter a number. Suppose we enter 9, we hit enter. Then it asks us to again enter a number. Suppose now we enter 89. We again hit enter and it asks us to enter a number again. Suppose we enter negative 9. We hit enter and we come out of the loop. This is because n less than 0 condition is satisfied as minus 9 is less than 0. Therefore, break will get evaluated and we simply come outside of this loop, right? This is what break is all about. Now, let's consider our next loop control statement that is continue. Continue is similar to break, but instead of terminating from the loop, it forces to execute the next iteration of the loop. Again, in order to understand this particular statement, let's consider one more example. We need to write a program which prints all odd numbers from 1 to 20. Let's see how we can write a program for this. So here is the program which allows us to print all odd numbers from 1 to 20. Here I have declared a variable i and one more variable n and I have assigned it a value 2. After that, I have written one for loop. Okay. Inside this for loop, I initialized i with 1. I check the condition is i less than equals to 20 or not and then I simply increment the value of i. And inside this for loop you can see there is one if construct written and I check one condition is i is equals to n or not. If i is equals to n then we simply evaluate these statements otherwise we simply print i. Now let's see how this particular program works. As i is equals to 1 and 1 is less than equals 20 this condition is satisfied. And we know after checking the condition, we need to go inside this loop if condition is satisfied. We come inside this loop and check this particular condition is i is equals to n or not. As n is equals to 2 and i is equals to 1, therefore this condition failed and we come outside of this construct and print i. As i is 1, therefore 1 is printed. After that, we increment the value of i. Now i becomes 2. Now we again check the condition is 2 less than equals to 20 or not. Yes, 2 is less than 20. Therefore, we come inside this for loop and check this condition. Is i is equals to n or not? Right now the value of n is 2 and i is also 2. Therefore, this condition is satisfied and we come inside this construct. Here, we add 2 to this number. Now, after adding 2 to this number, this number becomes 4 and we simply continue. Now what does this continue mean? Continue doesn't mean we terminate from this loop. It simply means we won't execute the rest of the statements but we will continue to execute the loop. 
okay so it is equivalent to break in the sense that the rest of the statements are not getting evaluated but instead of terminating from the loop we will continue to execute the loop that means after we encounter continue we increment the value of i and check the condition once again here the value of i now becomes 3 as 3 is less than equals to 20 condition is again satisfied we come inside this loop and check this condition as 3 is not equals to 4 right now the value of n is 4 as 3 is not equals to 4 therefore this condition is not satisfied and we simply print 3 after that we again increment the value of i i now becomes 4 and after that we check this condition is 4 less than equals to 20 or not as 4 is less than 20 therefore we come inside this loop now 4 is equals to 4 right so we simply add 2 to this number this number now becomes 6 and we continue and when we encounter continue we come at this point that is i plus plus in this way we would be able to print only odd numbers on the screen let's see what would be the output of this particular program here you can see we are only printing odd numbers from 1 to 20 that is 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 19 now suppose if there is no continue then what will happen let me comment this out if there is no continue then this printf function will also get evaluated even though the condition is satisfied previously if the condition is satisfied and when we encounter continue we come at this point but if there is no continue we simply come at this point and print the value of i if suppose value of i is 2 and n is also 2 the condition is satisfied we increment the value of n by 2 now it becomes 4 and as there is no continue after this particular statement therefore the printf function will get evaluated and it will print 2 onto the screen and similarly it will print all the even numbers as well therefore the final output is all numbers from 1 to 20 right this is what we need to understand about the continue okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture